Oh. All right, so Brandon here, it's funny, he's an alumni, but he actually got a run with me during 2021 cross country, 2022 uh, cross country as well, and then 2022 track and field. But he uh, he's not doing it this season, though. He should be, because he's focusing, he is choosing, he's at least making a good choice to at least focus on studying and doing the fitness club at CSU. Brandon, you're here as an alumni. Would you say Hartnell was a good choice in terms of running and academics, and are you happy to be here today? Uh, yes, I am happy to be here. I 100% believe that Harnell was the best choice. I don't think I would have had the same experiences and the same amount of uh, connections and friends, honestly, uh, if I would have gone to CSUMB or any other uh, four-year university. Um, honestly, the thing that I'm missing the most out of like this, um, I guess, team and like this um, college is probably the athletic experience. Um, I don't know. There's just something very unique about uh, Harnell. Or maybe just because of the team, but it's like it's very like I, I was like wholesome, but it's also like very like motivational to have like people that have the same goals as you, and you're like just trying to compete and trying to like win like a title. So yeah, I believe that Harnell was the best choice for me, like 100. percent Like it's like the butterfly effect or the Mandela effect. I can't remember which one it is, but like one action could literally define your life. And like for me. Um, it defined how many friends, like how I met Riley right here. <laughs> it defined like a lot of people that I've been able to make connections and become friends with. So yeah, it did. Good man. Well, Mr. Escalante, we're happy to have you here. And otherwise, we're gonna run fast for you. We're gonna put on a show. Yes, sir. Thank you. No so, Vanessa, um, real quick, what were your times here, and what seasons did you run again? Um, I ran, I think, 2018 through 2021. Um. Uh, my times, I think I ran officially like 16 flat for the 5K, um, 3K, I think 914, 15, what did I run for the 15? Uh, the equivalent of whatever like a 433 mile is, uh, 800, I don't know, like three minutes, bro. I was never good at the 800. <laughs> it was, it's like 220, bro. It was super slow or something like that. How's it feel to be here today? Are you excited to watch us all and see if uh, Hartnell's continuing on the legacy? Yeah, I just I feel like I paved the way for a lot of these guys. You know, when I was here, um, a lot of you guys were by middle school, high school. So, um, yeah, I, I paved the way for a lot of these guys, even though they won't admit it. So I'm just here to I'm just here to see what I've created, what my uh, my class created. Hopefully, they can run some fast times. Um, here to help Coach Z out, um, clerking. I should probably be there right now, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what these guys can run. Sounds good, well, Massa. Thank you for your time, and hey, great seeing you as always. Great seeing you. Thanks, Massa. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Isabel Torres. She is. I, your graduation's all weird, but here's what I did. She's at UC Berkeley right now and ran 2018 cross, 2019 cross, and then would have been 2019 track and field. But then, dude, COVID then didn't run until 2022 track. Let me say something first. Um, fall 2019, oh. if I didn't get a... Um, no, 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 I started 2018. Um, um, but 2019, um, Sal? Um, I... Sorry, this is besides the point, but I got injured. I had a stress fracture on my fibula. If, that, if it weren't for that, I probably would have been All-American. Rest in peace, that that dream. Um, live and learn. Live and learn. I'm still running, there but you're still, everyone literally calls you Isabel Torres the goat. So like, I think you don't need it. All you're the only one that calls me that, but thank no, you. No, no, no. <laughs> sure everybody calls you that. I've never heard that, but thank you. Nah, but would you say Hartnell was a great decision? Oh yeah. <laughs> it was like I wouldn't. Reg I would like. I wouldn't have it any other way. Like I can't see life any other way. Um, it was definitely the right choice, and I th even think, like, um, although I almost went somewhere else and decided to, like, take a gap year, like, I don't regret that either, like, I, this kept me grounded, and I am where I am now because of being here. Good, good. Are you excited to see everyone run today? I'm so excited to see everyone run. I love you guys. I'm so excited to see, um, what y'all are gonna do, and what you guys have been doing, and what you're gonna do, like, even after today. <laughs> We appreciate it, and real quick, do you think we'll see you at Mike Finale? Uh, as a spectator? <laughs> I don't know about as a competitor. I'm not in shape right now. Well, don't worry. You'll get there, and anything can happen.
So I love that. We're super excited yeah. to have you, and I will tell you personally, I'm super excited. To Thank have you. Here. And no, should be here. They will be here. They will. Okay, they will. They're probably gonna be interviewed as well. Awesome. I won't tell them. But yeah. Hi, Isabel. I'm so happy you're here, and thank you for your time. Thanks for interviewing me. I saw, and I remember. Isabel can attest this. First time I met you, I said you look like John Lennon. She's like, Nah, he looks like Millhouse. Don't give him the credit of saying he looks like John Lennon. Which one do you say you look like? I mean, past me looked like Millhouse. Me, as of now, maybe John Lennon. <laughs> That's right. What? Right. Um, real quick, what seasons did you run again? So I ran in the what was it? Fall 2019. Fall 2019. Fall 2020. Well, then there's a pandemic. I call it the pandemic season when we still ran around, to try to build base volume. Uh, I tried to stay in shape. I know I did try to stay in shape and did some pretty risky stuff like just wake up and run see us see how far I can go <laughs> until I drop and I found myself in Monterey <laughs> That's it. Well, um, would you say Hartnell is worth it and you happy to be here today I'd say I am happy to be here it definitely helped me a lot coming out of high school I did not know what I wanted to do I had no idea no past so I decided to come out here since there was no risk for me financially all I had to do was pay for my own books so if you don't know what you really want to do then I'd say come out here figure it out what's the worst that can happen you're still leaving with some education something to do and possibly an associates something small but so something that can get you in the workforce or help you go to an upper division school like as of now I'm at Cal Poly still trying to work on a bachelor's of science in psychology and maybe potentially a master's of science in or a master's of arts in psychology in a different school that's right and one last question did you say that you loved running even if it was painful and such Oh, it's so painful. That's what makes it so fun. <laughs> that's right. Once you're done running, you're like, shoot, I did that. All right, that's going to be me today at this meet. So you can say, ha, huh, been there, done that, buddy. <laughs> well, Zell, we're happy that you're here. Thanks for coming out and supporting us as the fun is building up today. Uh, or building yeah, up to right. tomorrow, I should say, sorry. It's and just thank you for your time. And otherwise, much just luck. So go Panthers. All right, go Panthers. Right, so we have Mr. George Sanchez here. He is one of Hartnell's finest. Uh, you were double All-American, correct, in track and yeah, 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 cross? Yeah, yeah, I think so for cross. It's, if I'm correct, just for track, maybe. <laughs> I know. I know you got an All-American title in cross. Here, let's cross. check. Let's check it out. <laughs> here, you want to stop? We're gonna go to it right now. Oh yeah, we have the wall. Here, let's see. This has all the cross country and track and field, right? Yeah. Okay, he does it by year, so. Uh, okay, Diego Leon, you were after Diego Leon. Okay, Mr. George Sanchez. So, that one, that one. So, two for track, and then I don't see any for cross. I think I was short off of cross. I thought you got All-American with Edgar. Uh, maybe by like the spot I missed it. What the? <laughs> yeah, well, there the case, you were definitely... I, I can tell. I don't see any cross. I think this is all track. Well, whatever the case, you are for sure double All American in track. So you come on, let's back outside. And one of Hartnell's finest. There you are. So tell me, George. Um, obviously, what's the Hartnell here for academics? You then transferred to Alaska Anchorage, where you continue your running. You want to? Sorry to interrupt. You want to do it a little bit more over there? Uh, just to recap, you went here for academics. Then you were transferred to Alaska Anchorage for running in academics, and you finished up to your bachelor's. Did you go to your master's? No, I just did bachelor's. All right. Yeah. Um, are you happy with the decisions you made? Would you recommend Harnell for running in academics? And are you excited to see us all run here today as the Panthers of tomorrow? It's a beautiful day, sunny, uh, which is rare in this day and age <laughs> for, for uh, the, us and Salinas. Uh, so it's a perfect day to come out and support Hartnell. I'm excited to see the alumni. And as far as your question, if I made the right decision for Alaska and Hartnell I think it was one of the best decisions ever Hartnell showed me the the ropes of how to become fast how to be uh, consistent and uh, it showed me a lot of cool places that I now go to run for which is like in Big Sur, uh, Nicene, uh, Fort Orr, Toro Park a lot of little hidden gems that a lot of people don't know in high school here for a distance team uh, that being said uh, Alaska was a good experience. Got to travel all over the place. My teammates were Kenyans, and you know they they were just great to me. And now I'm back, and that's about it. Any 
Did I miss anything? <laughs> nah, you answered all perfect. George, I am so happy that you're here. Yeah. Thank you for always supporting me. I've, I've, got, I got, I've gotten to meet you since day yeah. one, like D.A. Leona and all these other guys. Yeah. So I'm very glad you're here, and we're going to run fast so you capture some good shots. Just remember to get my good side. Yeah, there you go. No, but uh, yeah, if people are looking at this, high schoolers do come out to Hartnell, uh, run for us. You know, it's you got social media on top. Uh, you know, why heart now? We just got a good coach and great team. Exactly. Hey guys, I'm just saying, shows a lot that the alumni are coming back and supporting, so yeah. just remember that. Well, hey, George, thank you for your time with that. Let's have a great day. See That's you, man. right. Thank you, Riley. We have right here the amazing Shanti, and she's uh, one of the best cross country distance runners and steeplechase runners we has ever had. Shanti, what's it like being here today, seeing the, the future Panthers of tomorrow? <laughs> I know in your case, some of us are still your teammates, but we're still younger than you. Yes, yes. And uh, do you recommend Hartnell academically and athletically? And are you happy that you chose Hartnell with that? Go. All right. Well, I'm very excited to see everybody who is joining the team uh, on the track doing well. It's nice to see. And um, I kind of forgot the other question. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Um, what, uh, do you recommend Hartnell academically and athletically? Yes, I do recommend it. I think it was one of the best choices to like come here and continue my education. And yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. If I could do things over again, I would go to Hartnell first. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what that means. Hartnell was a heck of a good decision. So very good decision. Well, I am glad that you get about here, Shiny. Seriously, you've become one of my favorites over over the last couple over the last year and seasons. You can blush, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but seriously, thank you for coming and support. I'm glad that you got for me personally. I'm glad you got to see me here along with Isabel Torres. Yes, so. I'm happy to see that happen. <laughs> well, right, thank you for your time. Otherwise, uh, guys, John T, one of the best hard no Panthers. <laughs> I'm here with legendary Diego Leon, who's been calling the man, the myth, the legend today. And Diego, um, one, are you happy with what you see here today uh, at the Gary Shaw Open? Two, do you recommend Hartnell academically and athletically and proud of your decision to come here? And then three, um, are you just glad you stuck with running here? Kind of, kind of yeah, absolutely. Yes to all three. Uh, so yeah, I guess I have, I have always had high standards for Hartnell ever since I left because the standards of service I received at Hartnell were really high. Like. You know, from the coaching, the support, the networking, the, just the whole, like, family aspect of it was, you know, top tier, like, top level um, type of environment. And, like, you don't really get that at every university. Um, even if you go to, like, these four-year colleges, you can go to, like, D1 universities. Hartnell has something special, and I didn't necessarily know that when I was here, but, like, immediately upon leaving, it was something I noticed is, wow, like, Hartnell is a really special school. So, um I thrived here, and ever since I've always, you know, tried to have like similarly high standards for people I know running here because I know, you know, the environment's so great, and I try to keep the relationships here. So yeah, it's awesome to see basically the whole program thriving um, as expected. You know, uh, Z does a lot. The runners are very involved, so it's it's really awesome to see every time I come. It's it's a pleasure. It is, and you yeah. know, guys. Fun fact: uh, Diego Leon actually was the very first uh, alumni, one of the first Hartnell people I ever met, and it, you the were first what? You were one of the first Hartnell guys I ever met. That mer that oh, oh. we first met. You were the yeah. You and Isaac were the first Hartnell guys I ever met, and you you, you, you were supportive and really. I was like, you know, if people are willing to come back to this school, and I learned when you when I learned you graduated in 2014, I was like, you know, that's saying something that they're willing to come back despite whatever lives they're doing, and even come back and run and coach coach the new generation. This is college, not high school. Absolutely. So, uh, that was, yeah. That really did show me something special. And you, know, you, you come to be one of my favorite spots. You've been helping me in engineering, so. Of course, you got to <laughs> pay it back somehow. You know, I got a lot of help from my superiors. You know, my seniors when I was the younger guy. So it only makes sense to come back and just check in on people. So I'm glad that you feel that. Uh, <laughs> that's the whole idea. Is like, you know, you, I got a pretty busy life. A lot of other alumni have busy lives, but it's fun to see everyone come back, give back in any way we can. And then just enjoy the show otherwise. So, Good. yeah, absolutely, dude. Diego, of glad to see you. Thank you for your time. And otherwise, Proud Panther. All right. Blair, <laughs> introduce yourself, please. Coach Drew. Uh, coach. Hartnell College. I left. I graduated in two. I didn't graduate. Well, I transferred out in 2010. 2010. Dang. All right. Um, so. I'm eating. You did uh, jumps and hurdles? Just jumps. I didn't know hurdle. Okay, I, I <laughs> I'm, 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 so 
Would you say Hartnell's worth it academically and athletically, and you happy to come back here and coach him, or you happy to perform today of your current athletes and past athletes? Academically, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I was never a good student um, if it wasn't for sports. But if it wasn't for Coach Z and then Coach Mike Ward telling me to come here, I probably wouldn't have done track ever again. So if it wasn't for Hartnell and track in general, I probably would have never gotten my degree. Um, probably would have never been coaching. So, so Hartnell is definitely worth his one hearing. Yeah, exactly. And are you happy to be coaching here? Again Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I, n I never really had – I mean, not to uh, – not to what's called uh, discard any coach that I had before. I never really had a consistent coach in high school and college. So coaching just it's my way of giving back to the high school level and the college level, you know. Just spread knowledge, you know, and hopefully just to develop that. That's right. Hi, my name is Sharice, Sharice Robinson. Uh, and you did what events here at Hartnell and at, uh, what, what were the main events and what you attending? So, my main events were at the four and the two, um, but I was also a heptathlete. That was, that was like my main event in a way, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what year did you come Hartnell? Uh, 2016 through 2018. Oh, so you know like Eduardo Orozco, or Wallow, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Edgar, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. um, they, they, Yes, um, I do feel like Hartnell is the way to go, and yes, they are holding on to the the strong legacy of Hartnell um, athletics, sprints, and um, distance. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for doing this quick little interview, and I'll be putting together a little Hartnell alumni recap to say why Hartnell. Oh no! <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Anyways, thank you for your time, and thank you for coming to sports. Alright, so this is Felix, and Felix here, he went, when did he go? Uh, 2012 to 2015. Uh, and he now coaches at Ever Alvarez, where he even went to high school. Yes. Uh, Felix, I'm just going to ask you two questions. All right. One, was Hartnell worth it academically and athletically? How did you get in the NFL? Yes, it was really worth it, because I have friends that went straight to a four-year, and right now they're like $100,000 in debt. Oh my god. And the first education I got here, the financial aid I got here, I'm only like $8,000 in debt, so mine is really manageable. They're probably going to spend 30 years trying to pay that debt. Me, I'll probably be done at three, four years. Guys, so it's right there, that's why two, year, two years first. Two years yes, first. and then if you really want to continue doing sports, community college is a good stepping stone to getting like full ride scholarships, half ride scholarships to go compete at a four year. We've had, at this point in time, quite a few Everett Alvarez athletes come here. Uh, Marco, who, who will be running next semester, actually, again. Yes. Frankie Maciel, and then, well, George was actually, he was the class before you. And so. Yes. Anyway, are you happy with how Everett Alvarez is the v Lion part now? And also, are you just happy with how the program has turned out? Yes. Um, Coach Z, like I said, he's one of the best distance coaches out here in the community college world, maybe even uh, college, four years. He's really knows how to take the best of any student athlete and making them PR like crazy. I remember one year we had a guy that in high school, his PR 5K was like 19 minutes. He came here, he was running uh, low 16 minutes. Hey. So as long as you put in the work, Cozy will make you a better runner. Well, I just trust the process. Yeah, trust the process. Well, I feel like, uh, I, you were one of the first people I met along with George and Diego. I'm very glad I got to meet you thanks to Hartnell. So thanks for all your support. And guys, just saying, it shows a lot about Hartnell that the alumni keep coming back despite how busy they are. So, yes, always Hartnell. the Panther, always the Panther, always here supporting the current Panthers and the future Panthers are going to come. Continue the, uh, continue the legacy of winning championships and they're continuing to be great. That's right, well, Felix, thank you so much for your time. And otherwise, once a Panther, always a Panther. Always Panther, thank you. Hey, this is Justin Caracho, and the way it's looking, he's going to force me to do the interview for him. Mr. Caracho. <laughs> this guy. Nah, legit though, Justin's the GOAT. He puts up with me every day, helping me become my best. So, he's definitely one of my personal favorite alums because he's always pushing me to do my best. And anytime you do good, he says, You did good. Anytime you do bad, he says, Riley, could have done better. <laughs>
trash. I was like, Riley, that was trash. Now you could have done better. No, they say you could do, you could do better. Hey, Thor, as long as you get by the end of the season, you did your job. There you go. Hey, uh, Justin, as a uh, former alumni, are you happy you chose hard now? Yeah, honestly, um, I'm kind of... For me, it's like I kind of base my life off of Z. I see what he has and what he does. And he has pretty much been like a mentor to me. So that's why I come back to Hart now. That's why I'm an uh, assistant coach here. Um, just because, I don't know. It's just he was a big impact in my life. Uh, after high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And he messaged me and told me, hey, come on out. Let's try it. Uh, come, come out and run. And I was like, all right, why not? I have nothing better to do. And... Um, now it's a kid from Watsonville who did really bad in school. Um, I have my master's degree and now I'm, I'm getting my master's. So it's like I never thought like 10 years ago that this would be possible. And so definitely Hard Now was the best choice I could have ever made. Well, they know this. Hard Now is right here. And I will tell you personally, not speaking for Hard Now, I'm proud that I've got a problem with you. You're, yeah. you're a great, you're a great coach. Yeah. Plus you're cool to joke around. Yeah. No, just try to do my best and help you guys out and hopefully make an impact in your guys' life. That's why I keep coaching. Um, just be impacted in other people's lives and that's fine. And so, yeah. All right. People remember, they don't remember the best, they remember the people who gave. Yeah. So always remember. Like, Justin, thanks for your time. Thanks for forcing me. Of course. Yeah, of course. I think for you. Look, huh? where do I look? Look at the just look at me. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, so guys, this is Daniela Salazar. Um, what years did you run at, at Hartnell for track and field class again? Yes, so I came in August of, of August of 2018, and I left May 2020. Okay. Oh, so really, I came in 2020. Yeah. Anyway, um, Isabel Torres talks about how, how much of a legend you are, so that's literally how I know you. Isabel Torres is here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you guys come here to Gary Shaw as a Hartnell alum. Are you happy with the director of Hartnell still going? Oh yeah, we have a tradition of success, and I, I'm pleased to see everybody working hard out here. Okay, and then two, uh, is Hartnell worth it? Of course. I'm so grateful for, for the program, I'm so grateful for Z, and I'm grateful for all the friendships that I made along the way. I, you know, I'll carry Hartnell with my heart forever. Well, good. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming to us. We appreciate it. And always good luck with uh, our athletic and academic career you got. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Sir, could you introduce and say what years you went here? Um, my name is Bradley Clinton. I was here 82 and 87. Yes. So here, this is a question I can only ask you and Larry. Yes. Did you say Gary Shaw would be proud of the way the program has gone after what you saw today? Were you happy with Yes, I think Zapata has done a great job with the with the clubs. Good, good. And other than that, um, what's your favorite memory of Hartnell Um, I, I'm the only guy that got left behind on a track meet. You're the, oh, I was in San Francisco, oh, and uh, everybody thought I was on the other bus. Oh, That's my claim to fame. But if a story died though with Shaw gone, because there's no way to collaborate it. <laughs> well, right, sir, thank you for sharing that, and thank you for coming and supporting us. Uh, yeah, I will tell you, I, it's one of the best things about Hard Knocks is all the alumni that keep coming back and supporting it. I don't see that at a lot of programs, high school or colleges. So the fact that Hard Knocks alumni are always coming back yes. and supporting still, it, it's amazing. So, sir, thank you for coming, and uh, thank you for your time as well. You're welcome.